What is going on, everybody? We're doing a tour. I'm at Tiny Fest with uh, Clayton here. Is it Asa Events? ACI. ACI. Actually, his van is on display at the Cruise and Comfort booth here at Tiny Fest. Uh, thank you for doing that for Chris. Yeah, no problem. At Cruise and Comfort, even though I'm not part of that company whatsoever. But breakdown of your van. You've been doing this a while. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to talk to him. We're going to get all the information. Uh, I think he works out. <laughs> and we're going to get into this. Let's go. Clayton, what's up, man? What's up? How are you? It, oh, great. Good morning. Yeah, did you get any rest? Yeah, I did. Yeah, bull. Yeah, I was in bed. Uh, I got like six hours. <laughs> um, you've been doing this a while. You and I have talked, geez, yeah. probably for the last like four four years, five years? Yeah, three years. Three yeah, years, I was, okay. I was in Irvine building them out of my driveway at the time I, we first talked. You were down in San Diego. Yep, I was living in the van and, and you yeah. were like, I'm going to build vans. And you, uh, <laughs> you come from uh, what background? Cars and motorcycles. It's pretty pretty awesome, actually. Yeah. Uh, you've rebuilt cars, you've rebuilt minor yeah. motorcycles, and you were yeah. like, hey, I'm gonna do vans now. Yeah. And you started this company, ACI yeah. Vans. Yeah. How's that been going? It's good, yeah, busy. I just need employees. Okay, well, if uh, where are you gonna be based out of? Uh, well, right now it's Phoenix. Okay. Are you staying in Phoenix or you want to try and go somewhere? Probably going somewhere. All right, well, maybe we can get you employees wherever yeah. you want to go. Yeah, for sure. Uh, they got to do your quality though, so we're going to have to walk through it all. Yeah, okay. What platform are we on? What's the, this what's is the... a 21 Sprinter 144 4x4. And is this for you or is it for a client? Yeah, this is for me. Yeah, really? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, this is my fourth van that I did for myself. Okay, and you just have like, I'm gonna build it and then I travel in it and then I sell them? Yeah. You have a reputation, at least with me, that you build extremely fast. Well, I just work a lot. <laughs> So it's not fast, it takes a long time. It's just I work 16 hour days. It's, it's what you gotta do sometimes. Yeah. You have a true, and why I love you Clayton is because you have a true passion for everything that you do. Walk me through, we're gonna talk about the outside later because I already see that you have a lift kit and everything else. So yeah. uh, walk me into the van if, uh, if that's okay. I'm gonna- okay. Uh, So we just did a pretty basic layout, simple. Okay. Um, works good. Uh, so we have, this one I have a TV in. So I got rid of it the It looks window. like a picture. Yeah, that's. A, I was going to put it like a picture. It's so like you're looking out the window. Oh, that's cool. We're actually at the beach. Okay. <laughs> that's the window. That's the window. Would you like set up like a camera to like actually view what's out there? Or? Well, I was just, you know, when I travel, I'll just take a bunch of pictures and I can just stream at my galley. There you go. Straight to it. So I feel like I'm, you know, I was looking for pictures at Yosemite, but I don't have Wi-Fi here yet. No, we don't, but that's but okay. I will be putting Wi-Fi in here though. What are you going to be getting, do you know? I do Mr. Net. Is that something new? I've never heard of it. Yeah, they've been around for about a year now. I've done probably four vans with them, but it uses uh, all the SIM cards. So T-Mobile, Verizon, AT&T, cool. Sprint. So whatever has the strongest signal goes through. And it's Mr. A, Net? Yep. Okay, good to know, see? I think they're out of Portland. See, I learn something new every day. I want to talk to you about this kind of like, you called it a simple layout, but there's nothing simple about it. <laughs> right like you you did this is not a kit you hand built all of this yeah yeah i do everything in-house except for upholstery talk to me about these darker vibes i really digging it dude yeah i just wanted to do something different normally all my vans are like bright white yeah uh, you know white walls white everything so i decided to, well i did the silver because it kind of matches the silver exterior so i didn't have to do a lot of oh that's right ring with fabric yeah. And it goes with the cabinets. Looks like it was done that way. The black, I just did the black. I'll probably do some tile here. Again, I just finished this van on Thursday and it was kind of just for the show. So yeah. and we're filming this on Saturday. Place. So yeah. it's only been two days, guys. <laughs> so um, I still have to do the running boards and do little little things here, but how did you do uh this? This is an interesting counter. Did you buy yeah. this? No, this is uh epoxy. Awesome. So uh it was just I just got some silver paint. <laughs> put it in some epoxy over a black base and and voila it like this <laughs> <laughs> it worked out perfect i get really turned on by like nifty little things and that's yeah. just like a little usb plug outlet thing i'm a yeah and that's a wireless phone charger too what uh what fridge did you go with it's a domatic oh, oh i'm actually gonna sit right in your yeah, uh swivel seat, seat by the way yeah so that's a domatic it's equivalent to the isotherm 130. oh okay cool it's big you got a big fridge then yeah nice yeah well, we're talking power because you need to power that fridge. Uh, you love a big power system. Yeah, I have 600 amp hours in here. That's a lot, and then dude. 400 watts of solar and 100 amp DC to DC. Oh, so you have zero issues with powering. Uh, are you even plugged in right now? I am right now, yeah. You are because you're inside. We don't yeah. have a sun, uh, but 
you could run but normally i i I've, I've never had to plug in a van everybody usually talks about in vans i need refrigerator i need a bed which we can obviously see yeah. um toilet and shower well the toilet will be under here so i got 180 hinges it's not yet but 180 uh, hinges yeah so that's nifty all and all the way and then the toilet will slide out and then i will sit there you'll sit down <laughs> i'm assuming because you're you're a bigger dude i'm assuming you're gonna use some heavy duty and hinges. then there'll be a garbage can there and then the, the slide out toilet there that's and perfect showers here so this is the tetra van fold down cabinet shower tetra van like tetris <laughs> so there'll be the shower there and then it has a curtain i haven't put in that but stand in here and do your little shower Got your. You've stood in another one, so you fit. You're you're a broad-shouldered individual, so yeah. you can stand in that easily. Yeah. Because I think that's only, you know, whatever it is. This is like 24 by 19, I think, is what the. But then it, the, the, the shower thing, curtain goes it, up as wide as the van. Okay. Cool. So I did another van, not with this shower, but a different one, same curtain, and uh, it, it's pretty wide, Oops. where I don't have to uh, touch the sides. Well, it's funny. I I didn't ask you to drop that just now, but that is solid steel yeah. that is like that is a beast that is no like rinky dink shower and it doesn't rattle too much i mean when i hit a a pothole or something pretty hard it'll rattle a little bit but it's pretty silent what a space saving idea that they came up with yeah absolutely you know they're they're relatively new i think a year or two old yeah i think they're about two years old nice well the first uh, yeah no, well originally they had i think just a, a steel pan Oh, no, they didn't have a cabinet one. It was just a standalone type cabinet that you got did. it. And then they have this one. And then now they have a, even a newer model. And they're actually coming out with, I think, other other shower basins. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, very cool. One of the reasons why you have a massive power system is because of this one right here. Yeah. What is that? That's a cruise and comfort icebox. The, oh, you have the icebox in here. Yeah. Do, are you running a 4824 or 12? This is a 12. Nice. Yeah, but it works great. I've done a few of these ice boxes. Where's the, oh, there's the vent right there. right there. I just saw your shirt moving. And then fan speed. Oh, that's nifty. And this only pulls about 40 amps. That's it. Yeah, so I can run it all night. And now the problem. compressor's underneath the van. It's actually in your spare tire location. I can barely hear that right now. Yeah. That's insane. We'll get some B-roll This is with the back. fan all the way on, so at night I can dial it all the way back, so it's a lot quieter. You can't hear anything? No. Did you insulate, so it's in your spare tire location is the outside compressor. Did you yeah. insulate that or rattle trap it's, that at all? It's not, no. Wow, that's this impressive. This just has, the, so the compressor's in here and it's just, uh, has the cover of the cabinet on it and then the condenser's underneath. The condenser's underneath, yeah. excuse me, the compressor's in there. Yeah, so I said it backwards. Um, the, your bed, do you know the dimensions offhand? Yeah, this is uh, 70, well, the from wall to wall, it's 76 inches. The, the mattress is 74. Okay. So I got about an inch of clearance just to tuck in the comforter and all that. How tall are you? I'm 6'2". And you fit in here comfortably. Yeah. And then it's 60 inches wide. Oh, wow. So, so it's, it's, it's about a queen. It's narrower than a queen. Yeah. yeah. Okay. That's, you fit a queen bed in here. Yeah. An air conditioner. Yeah. Obviously, you got a toilet. You got a yeah. shower. Yeah. You're in a 144 Sprinter. Yeah. You got a big enough refrigerator. Yeah. What else do you need? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> got a TV. You got a TV. Got, uh, Let's see, you got plenty of power. To, I got do you an outdoor shower out the back. Oh, you do? We're gonna go out of the back and yeah. we're gonna check that out. Do you have a... Um, water heater? Yeah, I was, water heater or heater? I have a, yeah, there's a heater right there. So you have the S-Bar? No, I have a L-Well. L, oh, oh my God, those are nice. Yeah. I like those so a lot. That's, uh, right here. Look at that. So that's the heater and then these are all the dials for the... Oh, geez, man. Oh my God, that's bright as all heck, <laughs> dude. You didn't turn those up for me. Oh my God, that's bright. Yeah, and then the, uh, they're all on dimmers, so dim it all down if you want to. You have mood lighting, get the red lighting for mood. Yeah. Yeah, and then these all change change colors. Holy hell, man, you went bright in here. I love it. That's perfect for camera. That's like true daylight right there. <laughs> wow, that's bright. Well, these strips, because there's these that are a little bit farther apart, so those I just use for the ambient lighting, but these ones I found here were great for the overhead lights because they put off so much light. Yeah, you could light up a football field. And then little bedside ones. Oh yeah. With the USBs, and then we got USB in here. Set your phone up here in charge. I would say people would maybe complain about storage, but you've got so much of it up yeah. on your two sides. You're fine. And then an overhead storage there, and then I'm gonna do a slide out in the rear too. Oh, you are. You're gonna put yeah. a big slider out the back. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. 
So there'll be a 60 inch slider under there that I can sit on or stand on or sleep on if I want. Beautiful. Well, let's yeah. uh, let's step outside and you right. can show me the rest outside. All right, what about the steering wheel? Wanna what get, did you do to the steering wheel? You gotta get the steering wheel. Oh! All carbon Did you fiber. put a, yeah, did you put like a another? Yeah, an AMG steering wheel. You put an wheel. AMG steering wheel in yeah. it? Now you're a car guy, so you like, <laughs> yeah. you kind of have those connections. That's right. Um, and then the outside, so I got the Dometic power awning. Okay, does it footer. need the legs? No, it doesn't need the legs. It doesn't need the legs? And then I got more LED lights on there. And then I have Pathfinder lights all the way around, so a 50 inch bar. I have pods, the two inch pods on the side. The what bumper is that? That is the, the hammerhead. Hammerhead, tunes, yeah. yep, nice. And you said you do have a lift, two inch or three inch? Well, I modified the Agile kit. Okay. <laughs> so I, I got about three inches of lift out of it. Okay, for everybody that is out there watching this, please don't do what my man Clayton does because he <laughs> literally does all of that for a living before he got into the vans. Yeah. So, so I got about three inches of lift and I got 35s on it. Of course you do. Why would you not? Um, 18 inch wheels. So, so you bought the Agile kit yep. and then you put it in yourself yep. because you know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, let's walk to the back and check okay. out the back. What was the rack? I don't know. I don't the know. rack is a backwoods. Backwoods? So backwoods rack. I got a double up bike rack here. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that the owl rig setup? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's the owl. And then I got the agile spare tire carrier. Oh, nice. And then, yeah, so there's the condenser underneath there. Yeah, we're going to get a, they put the mirrors for the show so you guys can see the condenser underneath. That's a really good idea. And then by this the way. is my water heater. It's all Wi Fi voice activated Alexa. I just say, Alexa, turn the water to 140 and it will heat up for me. Come on. So well, who makes that? To, this is a eco, eco temp. What? Yeah, and then. And then I could do it manually too, but that way, because before I'd always have to put it on a switch to shut off the water heater. Yeah. So now I can just talk to it or do it on a, an app. And how, what's the gallon on that? This is a two, two uh, well, a little over two and a half gallons. Sweet. So it's like a 2.6 gallon. Yeah, and then I got the exhaust fan. I got the 3000 watt inverter charger. Uh, there's the cruise and comfort ice box. Flesh the mouth, the intake, see it. yeah. That's the intake right there. That's really cool. And you got then, some cargo netting. Yeah, water fill. Okay. Water fill. And how big is your water tank? I have a 30 gallon fresh water tank. I have a 15 gallon gray tank for the sink and an 11 gallon for the shower. Your inverter right there. Is the rest yeah. of your power over here? No, the rest of the power is over here. So you ran, you ran a cord over here. Wow, yeah. man. You, you, like, you thought this out because yeah. you wanted to fit a lot of square pegs into a circle. Well, holes. I couldn't fit that over there with all the batteries and everything. So. So you're like, I'm just going to put it there. Yeah. Call it good. Originally, I was going to flush it under here. Upside down? Yeah. That would have been cool. But then I just had that just so it's all clean. This is a extremely clean build. And then I'm going to put some mole things here that I'm getting made to put an ax and whatever else I want. Oh, why on. not? Because yeah. that's, that's what you do. Fire extinguisher, tin of the tail lights. Now, do you build for client? Like if somebody was like, hey, I'm going to hit up Clayton and I want, I want, I want something like this. Yeah. Would you build for a client? Yeah. Or you just build these and sell these? So you want to build Oh, for no, clients? most of them I build for clients. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah, you've done a bunch already. Yeah. Yeah, I've probably done, uh, well, I've done like 15 full builds and like 30 partials. Partials? So you do partials? Yeah. Okay, yeah, I cool. I do everything. Upfitting. Well, I'll put your contact builds. information below and we can, yeah. if anybody is interested, they can contact. Yeah, a lot of suspension kits and stuff. A lot of suspension kits. You also do a lot of AC installs, I believe. Yeah. You do a lot because you're one of the really only people in this area that can do a cruise and comfort and install in phoenix where it's hot <laughs> yeah exactly so um have you had an issue with cruise and comfort air conditioning in this whatsoever no not at all no and you've even installed a 40 you recently did a 48 volt too um i'm doing a 48 volt now but i did do their big uh what is he called the ultra or something yeah something like that yeah, yeah so i did that in a van which put out twenty thousand btus a little over twenty two thousand. what's the do you remember the draw on it yeah, it, was, uh, it wasn't too bad. It was about 88 amps. That's it? Yeah. On a 20,000 BTU? And that was a twin compressor. That's pretty much what I'm putting in my tiny house, and that yeah. is plenty for a tiny house. Yeah, it's very similar to yours, but yours would be 48 volts, so you'll draw nothing like 16 amps, 12, 16. That's it? Yeah. Wow. See? Maybe I'll have to... <laughs> I'm going to hire Clayton. He's going to fly out to Boston. and he's going to install my system for me, because I don't know what the heck I'm doing. Uh, all right, Clayton, thank you so much. Is there anything yeah. that you want to end the video with? Something, I don't Let's know, words see. of encouragement or whatever you want well, let's see what else they got on here oh, i've got some pods on there so those are backland so those aren't flare spaces yeah what no. are those these are backland expedition gear 
So the nice thing about this is they come all the way down. Okay. Instead of the, the flare space ends right there at the body line, leaves a two inch gap. Interesting. So yeah, that's a and little these, different these take. Come painted, insulated, windows installed, just oh, ready to put oh, in. Oh, really? Insulated too? Yeah. And it looks like part of your glass. Yeah. If you have a window at the front, or yeah. is, is that, or is that, is that part of that? No, that is a window. It's that, just a, on the other side. It's a TV. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome, dude. And then backwards ladder. Obviously, you gotta have the backwards ladder with the backwards yeah. rack. Yeah, of That's course. That's a beefy looking ladder. Dude, you did a fantastic build. Uh, you've got the black rhinos. You did a phenomenal job. Uh, dude, there's really not much else I can really say. Hit them up. All right, sounds ACI good. ACI Vans, guys. Thanks, buddy. All right, thank you. <laughs>